Hello, my friends. What is up, everyone? Okay, so this is going to be a brief video explaining the final major project that you have for this class, which is a presentation project. Okay, so what I want you to do, essentially, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, um, but I want you to give a detailed presentation on a weather or environmental phenomenon of your choice. So what you're going to do is you're going to put together a five to ten minute um, PowerPoint presentation. Um, and this can uh, be with, um, it doesn't have to be PowerPoint, but Google Slides or any sort of other PowerPoint or any sort of other presentation software that you would like. Um, and this is going to be done in labs. Um, so if you're unable to attend class, you're more than welcome to either send me a recording or um, uh, kind of present to me at a, at a different time, like in office hours or something like that. Um, this is a solo project. You know, I don't like making y'all work in groups, um, and especially with this online stuff, it can be really difficult. So no worries about that. Really, overall, it's a very open-ended project. You have a ton of creative freedom. Um, I want you to do something that you like and that makes you excited. It really is the key for success. Um, so for the first time ever, um, I'm allowing you all to have the opportunity to do the same topic as your personal letter, but no one is going to be doing the same topic because that would get really, really boring, right? Um, so it's gonna be first come, first served with topics, and there are a ton of things that we do not really get to talk about um, in this class really either in depth or we don't really cover at all. Um, so because of that, you have a whole myriad of things to um, to look at. So I have a, I have a list of ideas below that I will I will showcase for you. And I'm going to have a Google form link on iLearn, and that's where you're going to submit your top choices. And then I will post the topic assignments once enough people have made a submission. Because do this as soon as possible. Because uh, next Sunday. At 11.59, I want a rough outline and a list of three to five viable sources. Uh, almost exactly like your personal letter, right? No, no particular format is required. So overall expectations of the presentation itself. I want some sort of introduction or motivation. I want a description of the phenomenon. And I want examples or some sort of case study. So... Um, you can showcase several examples. I know with some things like if you try and do um, Asparagus undulatus clouds, which are these really interesting, beautiful sort of wavy clouds, there's not a whole lot of case studies on them, but there are several um, video examples. So that could be um, that could be something there. Or if you choose like hurricanes, then you could maybe pick one hurricane that kind of stood out to you um, and you can kind of showcase that one as your example or case study. Also, if you are choosing a specific event, so say you're like, I really want to do Hurricane Katrina because I was my family was displaced from New Orleans because of Hurricane Katrina. So that means then that these two sections, the descriptions and the examples, are very much tied together um, as opposed to being sort of two separate spaces. Okay, so you you would just provide a bit more details if you're doing a specific event. But if you're doing a specific event, then there's likely to be a ton of details with that. Then just some, some conclusions. Are there, are there any ways that you can prepare for this? What kind of conclusions can you draw? Really just wrap it up. Don't just like end it, you know, kind of have some sort of conclusion there. Uh, have some references and um, some figures with your own captions. So what I mean by that is if you're doing, maybe if you're doing like a case study, like I had a student do um, volcanic lightning and she went into this case study and literally got the scientific graphical or scientific graphs from that and use those as some of her figures. If that's if that's not your, your jam, that's fine. Then just have pictures, but have your own little captions underneath them. So think of like uh, when I have my pictures of the day, I know, you know, I have my, um, my little description uh, of what that picture is underneath where it says the lecture part, right? So if I, for example, you know, go here, right? So tornadic water spout in Vancouver, BC. Okay, so that's just kind of what I mean there. And then the last part is your presentation ability um, being put together and not really rushed. 
Um, turns out I can actually tell um, when the differences between you being really nervous or um, you being uh, just not prepared. There's there's a different tone in, in voices generally. Um, and kind of tell if you were had practiced it or not. And if there was thought and effort put into the project, was it just kind of thrown together and no care or effort put into it or not for a total of 100 points. Um, so here's a non-exhaustive list of potential topics. Um, feel free to choose something that's not in this list. I highly recommend trying to do something that's part of your major. Um, and yeah, so you're going to be presenting this during um, the the week before finals in lab sections. Um, and yeah, so that's when it's gonna be due for everyone. And if you have any questions on anything, please let me know. I will also post another video um, showcasing some examples from previous semesters. So you can kind of get an idea of different styles that students have um, and just to, you know, kind of to see what other topics could potentially be um, be done. Please fill out the Google form um, located on iLearn and then by the end of this week I will have um, a Google Doc of the um, assigned topics. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Appreciate it.